coconut, a fruit famed for its delicious meat and its sweet water just packed with flavor and nutrients. And the coconut is much more than a mere food. It's one of the most versatile fruits on the planet. You can do all kinds of things with a coconut, like create sculptures, break it over Superfly Jimmy Snooka's head. Coconut can be made into a sexy bikini top. Learn that one from Toe Jam and Earl. And after your lady friend takes your coconut bro off, you know what I'm thinking, right? Oh yeah. You fuck the coconut. You what? You fuck the coconut. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another one of these kinds of episodes. Let's go. This video was sponsored by Noom. Noom is a digital health platform that uses a combination of human coaches, psychology, and science to help you take control of your own health. When I started with Noom, I expected it to just ask me my height, weight, and age and send me off into the wilderness like programs I've done like this in the past. But then their initial evaluation went into all of that and also went a bit deeper. Asked me questions about my lifestyle, history of programs like this in the past, and what my expectations are from the platform. It asked what my goals were, and for me, I have a tour coming up in October with my band and I want to get in better shape for that. And it created a custom program for me based around this goal breaking down this several months span into smaller, more digestible increments. I'm generally a pretty disorganized person too, so I found that their weight, food, and exercise trackers are a good way for me to keep on track, and the daily lessons help you understand and focus on your game plan, such as the one on the caloric density of foods. Something that's also reflected in the food tracker in a visual, easy to understand way. It also has a built-in support system with real human coaches trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition. As well as group chats, and all these can be as hands-on or hands-off as you want. I personally prefer to not have to talk to someone as much, and it asked me about that preference before throwing me into anything. For the past few weeks, Noom has become an important part of my daily routine, and you should make it part of yours. To get started, just click the link in the description to take your free Noom evaluation. Over the course of this channel, I've talked about a lot of MacGyver-esque geniuses. People who cleverly crafted their own ways to get themselves off. With all kinds of things that they probably shouldn't have used. It's a journey that's taken us all around the world. From the United States, to Russia, to the Netherlands, and today, it takes us to the lovely coastal African nation of Mozambique. It was in northern Mozambique that a Redditor named Coconut Throwaway 69 had his encounter with the coconut. In his post, Today I Fucked Up by Coming Into a Coconut, he details what had happened to him eight years prior. At the time, his mother had been going on somewhat of a health craze. No junk food at all in this household. Nothing but food that she believed to be healthy and nutritious. And one of these foods, of course, was coconuts. Every week she would go to the local market and bring home a bunch of coconuts for them to eat. Now, coconuts may be full of nutrients, but this Redditor believed that it could use a little bit more protein. Describing himself as a horny teenager, he talks about he had already gotten into the habit of fapping often. Both exams coming up, he was really frustrated and he found that, as such, he was fapping even more than usual. He just couldn't get enough and then it happens. He finds out that his mother is going to be out for the whole day. He's got the whole place to himself. I can just picture messy tails, seething with envy. So of course the gears start turning. The usual just won't do, you've gotta have yourself an extra special fact to commemorate this occasion. So from the same type of sex-starved teenage brain disease that gave us American Pie, we now have African Coconut. Or the cum -canut. He describes his state of mind at the time. Honestly, to this day, I can't fathom why I thought that would be a good idea, but my train of thought back then was clearly somewhat clogged. And we've all been there, right? I mean, I've, I've never had the urge to fuck a coconut before. But I understand the thought process that leads you down the path to fucking a coconut. You know, sometimes you're just a little, you're all backed up in there, and you need something a little bit better. Reminds you of the good old days of reading Jack and World, learning new techniques like the infamous banana trick. But a coconut is a bit more difficult to get into than a banana. You gotta have some tools. I end up grabbing the coconut drill and through 20-ish minutes of concerted effort end up creating a hole large enough for me to stick my porker into. I decide it requires some lube and grab the nearest slippery thing, some butter, before shoving it into the coconut followed shortly by my meat. I fuck the coconut and it actually feels pretty damn good so I blow my load, shove the coconut under my bed and continue about my day. That's how the problems always seem to start in these stories. 
You unload into this receptacle that you've carefully designed for yourself. The jar, the boxers, the shoebox. But you just don't have it in you to throw away. It's so good, you gotta keep it. So you hold on to it and it just lives under your bed like Howie Mandel and Little Monsters. Which, knowing what a germaphobe Howie Mandel is, I wonder how he feels about the fact that I just compared him to a reusable cum receptacle. So for the next week, he continues to fuck this coconut. He says that the way he drilled this hole into it, he got it just so perfectly tight. It's like the enigma of Amigara Fault. This hole was made for him. And not only does he not clean this thing, but the buildup of his own semen combining with the original butter makes the experience better and better for him. The old loads become the new lube. It's like that thing where, you know, you, you chew up a potato chip and then you spit it out onto a new potato chip so it's like you made your own dip. Everybody does that, right? It's like that, but with jizz. So this guy, he's got the setup right now. Everything's going great with his cum canut. But then, later on in the story, he takes a moment to explain a bit about the climate of Mozambique. Now, before I continue, I'd best mention that at the time, our area was experiencing quite humid, muggy weather which exacerbated an already existing fly problem. Disgustingly fat, bloated flies were commonly found around our house, and the exterminators couldn't really do anything because it was a localized area problem that would go away in the winter. After the first week, he starts to notice a lot more of these fat, disgusting, bloated flies around his own. And along with them came a terrible smell. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the source of the smell and the flies is the cum canut. So he decides that, you know, he's gonna throw this thing away. After, of course, he fucks it one more time. How do you think this turns out? Do you think this video would, would be on my channel if this was a happy last romp? I don't, I don't think so. So he thrusts himself into the coconut and he feels something move. You see, flies, as Marilyn Manson once said, will lay their eggs. And when he removed his schwantz from the coconut, he discovered that it was covered in a mix of rotten coconut chunks and maggots. Tiny, wriggling maggots. Some of them trying to finagle their way into his urethra. So he panics, he throws the coconut, which explodes against his wall, shooting rotten coconut and maggots all over his room. And that's a mess that he only even ever gets to clean up after scrubbing his Johnson like no man ever should have to scrub their Johnson. Still not clean. Never again. Never again. TLDR, don't fuck coconuts. This post, for obvious reasons, will become one of Reddit's most infamous tales. Easily being awarded Today I Fucked Up's Fuck Up of the Week, and inspiring the creation of another subreddit, r slash Coco Fleshlights, dedicated to all kinds of homemade fuckable fruits. By popular demand, the coconut man would then do an AMA, leading to answers to some of the burning questions. For starters, after making this coconut, people wanted to know if he made more coconuts to fuck. To which he responded that not only has he not been fucking coconuts anymore, but he can't even stomach the idea of eating one again. As for the maggots, did the maggots ever make a reappearance? I peed one out of my urethra after washing my dick. That's it. And you also have to wonder, why didn't he ever just clean the fucking thing? As it turns out, much like the My Little Pony Jar guy, he also had greater designs for this project. In addition to the fact that he just kind of thought the water felt nice, he wanted to see if he could fill the whole thing up. Should he have filled the whole thing up, that would have been the end of that coconut and it would have been time for a new one. Obviously, it didn't work out. Better luck next time. Another interesting discovery from this thread, the coconut fucker was not alone in his coconut fuckery. There had actually been another coconut fucking account that was made seven months prior, a guy named I Fucked a Coconut AMA. And unlike this guy, he was a big proponent of fucking coconuts still. Absolutely. I feel like with all the TIFUs, people think they should stay away, but they're just exaggerating everything and making things look hysterical because of the end result. It legit feels like a real pussy because it's nice and warm and literally self-lubricating. Here's a guide I wrote earlier. This guy made his own in-depth guide on fucking a coconut that goes into topics like the science of why it feels good to fuck a coconut. Apparently, if you're curious, it's the suction. And then after this guide was made, Coconut Throwaway would make a guide of his own. And then another more in-depth guide. 
And these guides include tips like be wary of cockbleed. So if you're curious, you know, there are at bare minimum three guides on how to fuck a coconut. I would not recommend doing it, but you know, I guess don't knock it till you try it. Can't stop you guys anyway. As for where the coconut guy is now, although we don't know his actual identity, every once in a while he still pops on to Reddit to remind everyone that he's the guy who fucked the coconut. It's kind of like that episode of The Simpsons where a homer bowled a perfect game, except it's like, hey, did somebody say, fuck the coconut? Anyway, that's the story of the guy who fucked the coconut. If you like this video, check out my video about the infamous Jolly Rancher story. Till next time, be wary of cockbleed.